Number 23. How would the graph in figure 9.13 change if the number of moles of gas in the sample used to determine the curve were doubled? Okie dokie. So here I pulled up the uh, figure 9.13 that they were talking about, and it looks like it's basically a graph between volume and pressure. So volume and pressure, when we talk about gases, this is Boyle's law. Now we just have to figure out what's going to happen to this graph if the moles were doubled. Well, we could basically come to the conclusion by looking at the combined gas law. I love to use the combined gas law because I can just get rid of the uh, variables that I don't care about. So the combined gas law is this one right here, right? Maybe I'll just put it, actually, maybe I'll put it on this side. So the combined gas law has four variables, pressure, volume, temp, and N is the number of moles. Now in here, since they don't tell me anything about temperature, I can just basically say bye-bye, and that's totally doable, right? Totally legal. We could just get rid of the T's. Now we have to keep the N's because the number of moles are being doubled. Now, in order to make this work, we are going to focus on one uh, variable over the other. Now for me, I think it would be easier to talk in terms of uh, volumes because I have these nice numbers down here. So I could easily manipulate this graph. But if you want to use pressure, you'll get the same exact answer as the one that I have in this video. So the thing that we have to say is that the assumption that I'm going to make is that I'm going to make pressure constant. Okay. So with the, with the, a constant pressure value, the volume is going to change because the number of moles of gas is going to be doubled. So now if I am keeping pressure constant, I could basically get rid of that. I don't really care about that. So bye-bye. And now I have this nice little uh, relationship between volume and N, which is the number of moles. And keep in mind of how they are on the relationship, right? If I have something that's x over y, that means that this is a direct relationship. Direct relationships always mean that if one variable increases, the other variable, oops, sorry, the other variable also has to increase. And then the same thing, if the one variable on the top decreases, the other variable on the bottom will decrease. Now here they told us that the number of moles were doubled. So the n value is going to increase, right, by a factor of what? Well, doubled means times by 2. So if I can just maybe bring this over a little bit, this is going to increase by 2 times. So if the number of moles is going to increase, what's going to happen to the volume? Yeah, the volume is going to increase by how much? By 2 times. That's a direct relationship. So when we do that, now we're going to keep that in mind for our volume. So we just have to basically shift over these points. Now, for example, let's take this point right here, right? They told us that this was at 15 mils. And I can see that because it says 15 over here. But now if my moles are doubled, what's going to happen to this volume? Well, it's going to increase by two times. So 15 times 2 is 30. So this point is going to basically move all the way over to a 30. Boop. Let's do this one. This was 10 mils, right? If I draw this all the way down, it's 10 mils. And if I'm keeping the pressure constant, I have to keep it at 20, but my volume is going to go up by 2, so 10 times 2 is 20. So I'm going to scooch over here and be over here. And you see how that is 20 now. And you can kind of see where these uh, new, maybe I'll put them in, actually I'll put them in blue. Right, there's one right here, there's one right here. We could do another one, let's do this one, right? It was at 5 mils, but now 5 times 2 is 10. So I keep the y-axis, but I got to go over to 10. So maybe probably it looks something like this, right? Well, that was actually pretty good. 
but you can kind of see what's going on here, right? The new curve is going to be something like this. Oh boy. Something like that, right? That looks pretty good. Perfect. So what is going to happen? How did the graph change? Well, it looks like it went to the right. So the graph has shifted to the right. And maybe it went up a little bit because, like, look at this, right? You see how from here to here, you still, you, you know, you rose a little bit. The graph, the new graph, is slightly above the old graph. So I would say it shifted roughly to the right and upward. But the whole idea here is that the actual shape of the graph is exactly the same. The graph before was this little curve downward, so the new graph is going to be the same curve, but just shifted over. And that is basically the answer. But this all comes back to knowing your direct and your indirect relationships. So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in later lessons. And have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.